party. So you've got essentially four components for the battery that's going to be inserted into the hand scanner, the base unit that's going to be mounted, and then the cable that connects the base unit into the point of cell module. So first thing, you'll need a screwdriver to unlatch the base, release, and then insert in Screw that down tight until you hear it click. This base unit, the RJ45 connector, like them just like that. This end will go into the point of cell at the base of it. So, first thing, make sure all the Units work, right? The scanner, there's no error on the printer, the display showing, and also the touch screen and scanner scale are up and functioning. Next, you'll lower the bezel, the power button, and hold it down for about seven seconds. You see, you should see everything go down. Point. Take the hand scanner and disconnect it. Move the cash drawer up as close as you can to the flush. It'll allow you some room in the back to be able to fish the cable down. And then you're going to take your take your point cell unit and just ease it down where you can see the cable's coming in. This one right here, the gray one, is the hand scanner. And there's a little clip in the base of it. Just release. Just making sure none of the other connectors come loose. Now you're going to fish the cable. it through the bottom and plug it directly into the you'll hear it snap just make sure give it a tug and make sure any, the adjacent ones next to it are connected fine nothing's come loose now move the cables that were there before using the velcro
point of sale will probably take between five and ten minutes to power on. Take the old unit, drop the cable around it, and then we put it, keep it with the other equipment that you're going to be shipping over to the claims.